Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do a very natural makeup look. But this makeup that I'm going to show you now might be like makeup when I'm going out or something. Because I don't really wear makeup when I'm going out or let's say to the shops or something. I normally like have a bare face. But sometimes I do, sometimes I might wear like mascara and concealer or like concealer and I don't know like blush or bronzer or something like that. But today I'm going to show you everything that I might do whenever I just want to go like a step up from that and go like full natural if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to be showing you that and you can pick out the bits that you like so then you can be, so you can have that makeup look as well but you can just take some things out that you might not like or you do like. So let's get on with the video. So the first step to my makeup routine is this Florence by Mills toner. I don't know if you can see this, but it's actually so good. And it's in the series two Florence by Mills range. And I just love this so much because it just like brings a glow to my face. And I absolutely love the pump. I don't know why. Wait, it's locked. There we go. Oh my gosh, it just refreshes my face. It gives like a really nice glow to it. And I really like it. I'm starting to get dirt off my face already. And I, I cleaned my face last night, so this is from just the dirt. Uh, this is just from the dirt uh, overnight. Wait a second, let me show you this. Wow. As you can see, you can see like a little dirty patch. It's not, um, you can't see it fully, but still it's horrible. So I always make sure to use this in the morning so I don't have any dirt on my face throughout the day. So after that, I like to use the CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion. I think that this is so good and I love it so much. I don't, like, I absolutely love CeraVe. I have the cleansing face wash, I think, and it's absolutely amazing. That's what I wash my face with at the night time. So I use the moisturizer in the morning and one pump, I just spill it all over my chair one pump is enough for my whole entire face because I don't really need a lot just because I've got uh, a little face but skincare is always good for your face but it's really good for your skin and I love it so much it just makes your skin so soft and it's like a good base for your um for your makeup to lie on for the whole day it's really good so for the first part of my makeup routine I'm going to be using the hide and peak concealer from morphe 2 in the shade Peak of Pearl, because that's my shade. And I don't really use foundation for an everyday look, so I like to use the concealer instead of the foundation. So I'm just gonna put this. I don't know how to just like, I don't know, like under your eye, but some at the start and then some at the end. I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but you put some here and some there, you don't join them, because it just makes it look a little bit more natural and this is take the aim of the video so now i'm going to put some on my head not a lot though now i'm just going to blend this in with a beauty blender which i've wet and it's just much easier to blend when you've wet your beauty blender and i use the tip of the beauty blender so it makes it easier to like get under your eyes let's say you're using foundation then i use the butt end of it just to make it quicker if you know what i mean but I'd like to use the tip of it, it just makes it really it just makes it really easy. Make sure it is all blended. Okay, right, so now it's all blended, but I can actually see a spot here. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. So I'm just going to get some concealer and just gonna put like a little dab going over it and I'm gonna blend it really gently so you don't take lots of the concealer away. Just doing this really Really gently but quick, so it doesn't dry up. Okay, right. So now I've covered my spots. They are still like, you can still see them, but they're not as noticeable as they were before. So now I'm going to move on to the next step of my makeup routine. So now I'm going to be using some bronzer for my makeup routine. I'd either use the Hoola Benefit bronzer, which is a kind of powdered bronzer, I'm quite liking at the minute this nude stick bronzer bar because I don't know it's just really easy to blend in so today I think I'm going to be using the nude stick one so we don't want to use like too much of this we just want to add like a nice little bronze to the skin 
not too much of it so i'm just going to do it like round here but i'm going to do like little dabs right over here not too much remember because otherwise it's just gonna be too much for your makeup routine and it won't be natural anymore so i'm just doing like little swipes down my face right um it does look a little bit weird at the moment but i uh, this is one of the reasons why i love this is because on the other side you have this really fluffy brush i don't know if you can see this but it's so good and i love it so much so now i'm just going to blend this in and should make my face a little bit more brown or like bronzed more tanned and i'm going on to the other side so i would recommend doing like a whole big line over it around your face because then it won't look natural uh, so now I'm going to move on to my step, which is going to be eyeshadow. So for the eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Sugar Brush um, palette. And I absolutely love this because it's all like honeycomb kind of themed and my name's Honey. So, okay, so the shades that I'm going to be using from this palette is Be Loving and Be Cool, which is one kind of pinkish kind of colour and one shimmery pink colour and I absolutely love these shades so I'm going to first use like a probably this bigger one for this and I'm just going to be taking the shade um, Be Loving and putting this into my crease and you can make a wing with it if you'd like but I don't know if I'm going to I'll just see whatever I do okay so I'm going to take this into my crease like very gentle and like it's like a nice really like peach color and i love these kind of shades so much they're so good and they're not too heavy on the eye and if you think that this color is like too heavy when you first put it on the trick to makeup is you just have to blend 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 like that's what i do like literally sometimes to blend something it might take five minutes something like that and you might just be getting fed up of it or something but it will look good in the end so just trust the process what I always like to say and it will turn out good if you just take your time and don't rush really like this so now I'm going to do this on the other eye okay right I have matched them now so using the smaller brush I'm going to take the glitter shade that I told you earlier can't remember the shade anymore but so it's just like a little nice pink shimmer shade and I love this. So I'm just going to put it into the bit where I didn't cover with my eyeshadow. I'm not going to put too much though otherwise it won't be natural. Okay right, put that in now and if you want to add any more then you add any more but I'm not going to today because I don't think that it will be like really natural if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to be doing a Okay, right. I've done that now, I think. So now I'm going to be moving to the next thing, which is also to do with my eyes, is mascara and curling them. So I'm going to start off by curling my eyelashes like this. Oh my gosh, they're like so good already because they just look. They actually look like I've already got mascara on, but I don't. It just like opens up your eyes. So even if you don't have mascara and you just got an eyelash curler, then I recommend using an eyelash curler. Okay, right, so now I'm gonna do it on the other side. Okay, right, so they look amazing already, but now I'm going to go ahead and do just like a little bit of the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. I'm just using like a little bit of this, like probably, I don't know. Just like a little, literally I just used like four strokes and it looks amazing. Literally like, I don't know, it just looks so good. So, that is all I do for my eyes. 
And then I'm literally just going to finish this look off with the Jake Jamie um, lip mask, which is the Sticky Toffee Pudding. I love this so much and it just makes your like lips so smooth and it tastes quite sweet as well, which I absolutely love Like when you accidentally lip your lip. Lip your lips? Lick your lips. Like, I don't know why, but it just tastes really good. You shouldn't, by the way. Don't, like, eat it. But anyway, just like to put this all over my lips because it just refreshes it and just makes them so smooth through it. Like, it lasts all day, literally. It's so good, and I love it. It smells absolutely amazing, dude. Like, I love both of the um, scents of them, but I've got to say, Sticky Jolly Pudding is my favourite. I didn't like the lemon meringue one. I don't know if you can hear me right now because I'm putting on it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I can still do like the lemon meringue one, but I just think it like looks better. I'm gonna put some meringue because I just love it. And it looks so good. Cause like, cause it's brown, it just like matches in with the skin tone, if you know what I mean. Um, I must love it. It's so good. Yummy. Um, don't eat it. I don't know if we said that, but don't eat it out of the pot. It's not good. But it is very good actually. <laughs> right, okay, so here is my final um natural makeup look done and I hope you enjoyed this. As I said at the start, you can like take little bits out of this and just use it differently. You don't have to use some bits which I used. But if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and you subscribe down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.